Okay, getting everything set up. Hi you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelina in case some of you guys are new here. Today I decided to pick up the camera because school is starting back up again soon. So yeah, I am back with more college quality content for you guys. I will be filming more college diaries. In case you guys are new here, I am a senior in college. I am majoring into business administration. So also comment down below what are you majoring in i would love to know so with that being said let's go ahead and get right into today's video so for the first tip i want to share with you guys is to plan 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 make sure you know all of your due dates and every deadline for your assignments i want to say for this tip to always have a planner whether that's digital or on a planner so make sure you guys have one with you at all times because i know it's really easy to lose track of time and when certain assignments are due. I swear by this, you guys, as long as you check your calendar or whatever, your planner every single day, you will be on top of your A game. So that's why I'm saying your planner will become your best friend at the end of the day. I recently just started using my planner as of last year, I believe, and it has helped me so much with school, with planning for content for YouTube, and just for my everyday life. It has has made me a lot more productive and made me really organized throughout the week so planner or download google calendar whatever works best for you and get that and go ahead and start using it and get your life together and for planning your assignments i would say at least stay at least two weeks ahead so you guys will get like a general idea of what is to come that following week Tip number two on how to get good grades in online class. This is a really cliche, but I gotta say is to have a great work study and I'm not talking about in your bed. In certain cases, if you guys do not have like a desk or like a good work study area, it's fine to work on your bed. Just make sure it's made and declutter free and work wherever is best for you, but just make sure the area is a little bit clean and make sure that you have space to work with. Nothing to distract you, your phone, nothing that shouldn't be on your desk besides your planner your assignments laptop pencil and stuff like that so now that you have a declutter area a good working space now this is a good time to prop your planner and your syllabus on your desk so you will visually get to see what assignments is due that week third tip is to turn off your phone for your studying or for lecture don't have any distraction in front of you you don't need all of that if you're actually trying to get good grades in online class i know it's super easy to fall down the social media hole every time i'm on my phone i'm constantly on it i can't get off of it because i'm always distracted by one thing after another and so i know it's really easy to get distracted and then once you go into that social media hole it's easy to lose track of time and basically you'll just miss half of your lecture class and you don't want that to happen which is also like another tip is to participate in your class so in this case just go ahead and turn off your phone or leave it on do not disturb you kind of use your phone as more of like a reward wise like hey I finished my lecture now I can be on my phone so kind of think of it as like a reward and that leads me to tip number four and this is really cliche but I already said it in tip number three and that is to participate in your class like I said this helps you to stay engaged and it could possibly help your grade such as you know if your professor does do participation grade just make sure to ask a question or two get involved so you won't fail the class because those participation grades can definitely hurt you in the end and it can also help you at the end of the semester to boost up your grades so think of it as just a rewarding thing as well um, something very simple that you can do and that is just to participate moving on to tip number five and that is to handwrite your notes I, I know I know that it can be very, very time consuming if you are more of like a digital person. Not that I have anything against digital notes or writing your notes down. It helps you retain the information a lot better. Also, it's scientifically proven that it does help you to remember information a lot easier whenever you handwrite your notes. What I think will help if you guys like to type your notes, I would say to type your notes and at the end of the class, I would say to handwrite important information down so you will remember that a little bit longer and it will last in your brain a lot longer. Tip number six, I, I feel like a lot of high schoolers and us college students uses this all the time and that's flashcards and Quizlet 
Flashcards and Quizlet are going to be your best friend at the end of the day. I use it all the time. I use it every semester, no matter what class I'm taking. So basically, if you guys don't know what Quizlet is, it's an online digital flashcard app that you can use to help you study a lot better. Um, I cannot say this enough. Quizlet will become your best friend. The last tip I have for you guys, and that is to take breaks. I know it can be very, very... I would say like annoying because I know I'm the type of person who hates taking break. If I'm so focused on one task, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop doing it. I want to keep doing it until I finish. But I realize at the end of the day, it makes me even more stressed out. So my tip for you guys is to at least work on that project or assignment for at least 20 to 30 minutes. And then after, even if you're not done with that assignment, take a 10 minute break. Go ahead and take that 10 minute break. And then after your 10 minute break is done, go back and work on that assignment and keep doing that. Keep going back and forth and taking a break because it's super important for your mental health. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know that there wasn't a lot of tips because there's not much you can do for online class because it's kind of like going at your own pace. And basically you're on your own at this point and it's really hard if you're taking all online classes. This semester I'm taking all online classes again. So I feel like I kind of know how to work the backbone of an online online class and know like the back routes of it, um, know how to maneuver my way and guide myself for online class. I did take all of my classes online last semester and it definitely was a struggle. I almost failed one of my class but luckily after following these tips it has really helped me. I will be applying all these tips to this spring semester. If you guys have any tips you want to share with the rest of us please feel free to in the comments. I will love if you would do that. Let's help one another because it will really be helpful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to follow me on all of my social media it'll be linked in my description box below really hope you guys have a great semester um a great year and a happy year thank you guys so much for stopping by and i'll see you guys in my next video bye